Hi there, Toby here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of string work from e-instruments. String work was built from the ground up exclusively for Reason's rack extension format. It gives you the sound of a small premier string ensemble for use in your productions. The ensemble consists of four violins, three violas, two cello and two basses. And these are mapped across the full range of your keyboard and are presented in a number of useful articulations with velocity layering. So let's jump in and have a look. When installed, you'll find string work under the rack extensions icon in your browser. String work ships with four main patches. Three of these are dedicated to the sustain, short and expressive articulations. And we also have a separate patch for the animator, which we'll have a look at later on. You'll also find a number of combinator patches which have been categorized into subfolders for you. To load a patch, just drag it into the rack. The UI is consistent across all the articulation patches. To the left hand side we have the articulation slots and these can be key switched via a MIDI keyboard. And you can define your key switch note using the up and down arrows for each slot. Alternatively, key switching can also be done using MIDI controller data. Below this we have the pitch bend control. Here you can choose between regular pitch bend functionality or the special slide articulations which I'll cover shortly. In the middle section you'll find controls for dynamics and this allows you to control the various velocity layers via note velocity or morph between them using the mod wheel. The sustain patch has an extra control for choosing between polyphonic or legato mode which features real legato transitions when changing between notes. At the bottom you'll find controls for attack and release and you can use these to further change the envelope of the samples. It's a good idea to note that the real release samples are only active when the release is set to its default position and you can reset this by command or control clicking on it. On the right hand side we have the effects section. This features a three band equalizer, compressor, a delay which is synced to Reason's clock and below this we have a convolution reverb which utilizes a real concert hall impulse response. And last but not least, we have a master volume control. So let's check out some of the sounds in string work. Let's start with the long articulations. Here I'm using the regular sustain patch, and I've got this in polyphonic mode, and I'm using the mod wheel to control the dynamics of this patch, which is playing a typical sustain chord part. The accent articulation has a much faster attack, which means it doubles up well for both staccato-like parts and more aggressive sustain parts. In legato mode, the sustain patch becomes monophonic. This allows you to play single note lines with real legato transitions between your notes. Playing with the attack and release time on the sustain patch can create some really nice string pads. Here I have the attack set to about 1400 milliseconds and the release to about 1200 milliseconds. And in conjunction with the mob wheel dynamics, we get a really lush cinematic sound. The shorts patch has three articulations, staccato, spiccato and pizzicato. Staccato has a very fast, punchy attack to it, while the spiccato has a slightly lighter feel. We then have the plucked pizzicato sound. While we're here, let's have a look at the slide articulations. Here I have a simple octave stab on the staccato sound. If I move the pitch well up, this invokes the slide up articulation. Moving the pitch well down, you get the slide down version. 
This is particularly useful for pop and disco phrases. This functionality works on all of the articulations in string work. The expressive patch holds the more decorative articulations in string work. To start with, we have the tremolo. Here's a cool texture you can make using the tremolo articulation and the regular pitch bend functionality. So I have four instances all set up exactly the same, but each instance is playing a different note and has varying degrees of random pitch bend applied to produce a very unsettling string texture commonly associated with horror films. So if you ever find yourself scoring a horror film, you know where to go. Next up in the expressives we have the sandos. These have a fast attack followed by a swell. Here's the slow. And here's the fast. Next up we have the semitone trill. And the lighter whole tone trill. Finally, we have the crescendos. Here's the slow and fast variation. Here's an example of combining several patches and articulations together to make a string part. The animator patch features a built-in rhythmic sequencer and arpeggiator, which can be used with the short articulations in string work. Using this, you can easily build rhythmic patches and ostinatos for your arrangements. The animator patch comes with plenty of pre-programmed sequences and it's also really easy to build your own. Let's call up the initialize patch and have a look through some of the features. The animator sequencer has 16 steps. You can change the amount of steps using the slider at the bottom of the sequencer. The main body of the sequencer houses the velocity sliders, which allow you to determine the velocity of each step. In its default state, the animator works as an arpeggiator and you have several patterns you can choose from at the top. These include up, up, down, down and random. Activating a square below a velocity slider turns the step into a chord trigger. Let's add a few more steps and see what we get. You can change the speed of the animator using the measure control, where you can choose between a number of rhythmic divisions. We also have a swing control. If I change all of the steps to chord triggers, you can see it's really easy to get driving string parts going. You'll also find a re-trigger function that resets the sequencer on every note on. Anytime you tweak the animator, you'll see custom come up in the preset list. To save your changes to use in another project, you just need to save the main patch to a preset on your hard disk. Before I go, let's have a look and see how we can use string work to create some more synth-like patches. I've set up some parameters here, which I'll add as we go through. We'll start with a very basic staccato sound. Let's add the compressor, now some eighth note delay, and some reverb. Now I'm going to take the attack time up to give it a more synthy quality, and then we'll add some more top end back in with the EQ. 
You can, of course, integrate string work with Reason's effects. Here I have a pulverizer set to comb filter, and the frequency is tuned to the same key as my chord progression. And you can see very fast we can get a nice result. So don't forget to experiment with string work using all that Reason has to offer. So that's it from me, and I'll see you next time.